breakfast, sir? Oh, yeah, great idea. Joined on the phone right now by the members of the Austin, Texas based band Fastball. Fuidando. Your attention, please. This train is departing. Hang on. Hang on tight. studio to do this record we were figuring that it's just time to uh, get in there and try to do the second record before we get dropped it's the fifth week right now on billboard at number one on the modern rock charts still there fifth week that's incredible yeah I'm really... Joey quit his day job three months ago. I quit mine three months ago. Three months ago. This I was making bagels here. three months ago. This is gonna be pretty fucking phenomenal it's then. Pretty yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty yeah. phenomenal. It took us 12 years. <laughs> Slowly. Yeah. Well, really. oh, well, we've, we've, we've been all been playing in bands for years. yeah a long time. Yeah, cause I think rock and roll should be like water. Yeah, you have to drink. You have to have it. These are the influences. And, you know, how do you tell a radio guy or a magazine mm -hmm. writer or a newspaper writer <coughs> the answer to the question, what are your influences? There's a lot of guys that maybe aren't that famous that had a big influence on me just because I got to see them up close. And they were really good and, and they were playing music, you know, what I thought was for the right reasons because they weren't so worried about, you know, well, am I going to become a big star or not? It was more like, hey, it's Saturday night. Full club, let's let's rock. A couple behind me and the guy's telling his wife, he's going, um, look, honey, it's MTV's real world. Kids going nowhere. <laughs> I love that. This is the first time. National TV. National Network TV, M or, uh, NBC. Here it is, right now. All right, everybody, uh, we're back. Folks, Austin, Texas is the home of my next guest. We're here to perform the hit single from their album, All the Pain Money Can Buy. Please give a really nice welcome to Fastball. <laughs> synopsis of what the inspiration was for the story yeah and the inspiration yeah it was inspired by a newspaper article that came out in our local paper uh, about a couple who had come come up missing they were supposed to arrive at a family reunion they never showed up for I actually wrote the song before I found out what actually happened to them and uh, it actually happened. Uh, apparently they crashed and they oh. died a friend of mine insists that it's about death is it about death sure <laughs> no, it's not. But it's also about life. It's the it's yin about yang. life and death. We drank up the wine and they got to talking. And now I had more important things to say. And when the car broke down, they started walking. be 
kind of just disorienting. I mean, here you are working your butts off as a band, you know, traveling around, eating macaroni and cheese, and then all of a sudden you turn around and you've got a song at the top of the charts. Yeah. I'll tell you exactly what it's like. It's like, uh, you ever been locked out of a nightclub and then try to go around back, maybe, and get yeah. in that way? And yeah. you're banging on the back door like, yep. let me in. And like, if you stayed there and just banged on the back door until four in the morning and all of a sudden the back door opens and they go, where you been? <laughs> Your table's ready. It's right up at the front. Just show me, and I, I'll, I'll remember for later. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And then the, br the bridge part. That's in. Right, right. Okay. And that's... Dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah. And then it comes like. It's like this Baroque piece or something like that. Exactly. You know? This is rock and roll music. We're not like an alternative rock band at all. Me, this song's about being in a band. Where are they going without ever knowing the way? And that's being in a band right there. It's just a, you know, it's a pretty romantic story. Pretty romantic. They just drove off and left it all behind them. Where were they going without ever knowing the way? Anyone can see. you guys go through when you write your music the um, writing process yeah we don't write songs together so I'll, I'll tell you my process inspiration frustration desperation and then the song is finished and then the elation <laughs>